Hi, welcome back to Asian Garden to Table. Today we're going to harvest the last few bottle gourds I have left in the plant. And at the same time, I'm going to continue to prune the bottle gourd plant to make it continue to grow and continue to fruit. In the last few weeks, we have picked five young gourds. There are still four left. They have grown into full size. Look how big it is. This is the normal size of a matured round bottle gourd. It's not very old, you still can eat it. You can tell by pushing your fingernail through the skin. If you still can pull your fingernail through, it's still edible. I will show you in next video when I open it and try to preserve it. You have to harvest your bottle gourd in time. When it gets old like this, you still can eat it. After removing the skin and the seed inside, the flesh is still tender and juicy. If you keep it too long on the plant, it will get too old. Even the flesh will grow that hardness. Now let's prune the plant. So we're going to do some of the things we did last time. We have to remove the vine that finished fruiting and also the vines that have fruit but the fruit didn't grow big enough now it's empty the vines that does not have any female flowers and the vine that too weak the fruit you may think that you're removing too many vines but don't worry about it after you remove this unnecessary vine the plant will grow back more vines and will continue to fruit Here is an example of how to prune the vines. After I remove the fruit and the vine to come with the fruit, I keep a leaf right here. You can see here it already have a sprout growing. And this sprout, I'm going to keep it together with a leaf. It will grow into another vine and this new vine will be very likely a fruiting vine. So this is another sample. I kept a leaf here. You can see here there's a sprout growing. In few days, this will also grow into a new vine. This is another example. This is the main vine and this is the side vine. I removed the rest of the vine, but I kept one leaf. There's a sprout here growing. This area is right in the middle of the trellis. It gets the best sun and very good space. So I keep a leaf and a sprout here. And we also need to remove any yellow leaves or the leaves that have bugs or disease problem. You can tell by the color. Sometimes it's like start to turn yellow. Sometimes you can see that there's uh, bugs on it. Usually the older the leaves, the more likely it will get a uh, bug and disease problem. So you should remove it. The leaves that you should remove usually at the bottom of this area and it's not necessary to keep it because this area is not fruiting area you don't need to keep this leaf if you remove the leaf it will help the ventilation and keep your garden neat there are some aphid problem for this plant so you have to remove them if you do not then the aphid will grow more and more because the plant is growing so many fruit at the same time there are some fruit that after they grow into a ping pong size, they didn't grow bigger, it just withered. It is normal if you see some of the gourd didn't make it. Now it looks much better. I do have some branches that are growing, already have female flowers. The same thing, we need to prune it so the female flower will grow bigger and continue to fruit. Keep two female flowers and two extra leaves and remove the tip. This area is a very good fruiting area because it has the best sunlight and have many big and young leaves growing. The bottom part of the trellis, this is not fruiting area. So I'm not keeping any sprout or any side vine in this area. And I remove most of the leaves. It is very important to keep your plants neat without any unnecessary leaves and branches. One week later, bottle gourd grows back. More new vines with more female flowers. 
there are also more fruits growing. You should also do some pruning work now. Please refer to my video how to prune fruiting bottle gourd. Bottle gourd can be pruned, grow back fruit, get harvested, and pruned again. This cycle can be repeated for multiple times depending on growing season, your local climate, and the plant condition. I hope you find this video useful. Subscribe for more growing videos to come or visit our website at asiangardentotable.com for more information. Thank you and see you next time.